W-R-R-S! W-R-R-S, bring you the latest intermediate school news. Hello, intermediate school. We welcome you here at channel WRS on November 8th, 2019. I'm Harper. And I'm Alfie. We pride ourselves on bringing you the latest intermediate school news. Let's go have an update on our shoots and ladders. Hey boys and girls, you did an awesome job with tickets this week. We are actually moving four spaces. So that puts us on 11. Keep up the great work. Thanks guys. Thanks, Ms. Delaney. Don't forget to keep earning tickets for respect, responsibility, and safety. We really need those tickets turned in so we can earn the end of the year, the end of the marking period surprise. It is time to future a person that has overcome fail failures to become successful. Last week we talked about Elvis Presley. The music inter industry would not be the same without Elvis never give up attitude. This week we are looking at Howard Schultz. I bet you have never heard of him. He is the famous American entrepreneur behind the widely successful coffee company Starbucks. His early life like many others started off in extreme poverty. He grew up in Canis in Canarsie Bay, part of the New York City housing project. In 1975, he graduated with Bachelor in Arts from the Northern Michigan University, which he attended on a sports scholarship. After graduation, Schultz headed to Xerox Corporation, and he was quickly promoted to, be, to become a full sales representative. After Xerox in 1979, at the age of 24, he headed to a Swedish coffee maker called Hammerplast as the general manager in a small company com comprising just 20 employees. It was the company's client, Starbucks, that led him on the next leg of his journey in his life. In, eight, in 1982, at the age of 28, he joined Starbucks after being so impressed which, with the company as their dictator of marketing. A year later, in 1983, after a trip to Italy, he realized the prevalence of his coffee culture there and the country's 200,000 coffee bars. He convinced the owners of Starbucks to roll out the concept across the company stores previously. They just sold co coffee beans and not the actual coffee drinks. While the owner resisted at first, he was persistent and was allowed to open a coffee shop in one of the new stores in Seattle. It was an instant success, but the owners didn't want to continue with the concept. They didn't want Starbucks to get too big. In 1985, Shardles left Starbucks to open his own coffee bar and named it Giornail Etteline for the newspaper. The story didn't end there after two years, Shuttles had achieved great success with his coffee shop, but he was thinking even bigger. He pro, 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 proposed buying the Starbucks company. But the price tag was huge, so he needed help with the transaction. Attempting to raise the capital to purchase the company, 217 out of 242 investors, he asked, turned him down. Howard Sachs once said, you have to have a tremendous belief in what you're doing and just pers er, persevere. Schultz showed us with his growth mindset he could become successful despite all the failures. Have you been saving those yellow tickets? School stores open every Thursday and Friday morning at 7.45. It is also open for busers on Tuesday for those who wait in the library at the, at the week. Did you see you could buy a lunch with Mr. Gaffney or this is Channels Television's Breaking News. Mm -hmm.
We need to interrupt this WRS for some breaking news. Hello Intermediate School. We are going to be doing a fundraiser to benefit Skyla Coddington, who is a fifth grade student here at our school. Um, as you may or may not know, Skyla is battling brain cancer and our school has decided to do a fundraiser to benefit her family and in order to do that we're going to be having a readathon which local community members and business owners will be coming to our school on December 5th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and they will be reading for t someone will be reading in our library for 12 hours straight so are you wondering how you can help if so we're going to need everyone in our school to help with this fundraiser so each kid starting today will be getting a baggie that looks like this and it has a bit of information in it so Tatiana can you take out the white booklet that's inside <clears throat> so everyone's going to get a little booklet like this this is a sponsor booklet you're going to take this sponsor booklet home and you're going to ask people to sponsor you and our school to raise money for Skyla. So can you open that booklet up? Inside you'll, oh, sorry. Inside, yours won't be like that. Inside you'll see that there's a sponsor name section and the amount given. So you're going to ask your sponsor to write their name down and the amount that they would like to give. They could give the, amount, the money in the amount of $1, $3, $5, or any amount of money that they would like to possibly give. And then you're going to write that down. Once they get that information written down in your booklet, you're going to give them a blue piece of paper that looks like this. And there's a blank line, and then it says, sponsored the Hornell Intermediate School Readathon. And then it says, hashtag Skyla Strong. So with that, they're going to write their name on that little blue book, and then you're going to bring your whole baggie back with your money, your booklet, and the blue paper, and drop it off at the main office as you collect the money. And the main office will be putting the money in here and hopefully we can see this display case fill up with money um, for Skyla and our family. The blue paper will be displayed outside of the main office so that we can see all of the sponsors that care for Skyla. Um, also, Sophia, you want to explain our ticket situation? Sure. So, <coughs> for, who, for the student who uh, has the most donations gets 1,500 tickets, and the, and the student that has the most do donators mm -hmm. get well, 1,500 tickets, and <coughs> kind of so on. As the the second most donators and donations will get how many tickets? Uh, Seven hundred fifty. And then the third gets five hundred. The Second most gets 250, and then the, or no, not the second, the fourth most, and then the fifth most gets 100 tickets. So, um, this brief little letter will come, o come home with everyone and their baggie so that um, families and friends can understand why we're doing this as well. So we hope that everyone uh, participates and helps raise some money for Skyla and her family. Have a great day. Skyla Strong, Strong back, back to you. you. We had a group of high school students come in and work with our fourth graders about instrument safety. Mrs. Naska's cybersecurity class talked about digital reputation and footprints, mm -hmm. cyberbullying, information literacy, and private and security. It was a fun morning full of learning. Let's look at some pictures of it.
It's time for Mrs. Han's library tips. Hi boys and girls. I hope everyone's well and I love that everyone's coming. So many people are coming down to the library and submitting their emoji book title guesses. The first week answer was love that dog and this past week's answer was drama. This coming week outside the library, the new emoji title for you to come make your guesses is this right here. So come on down, make your guesses, and we will see you soon. Have you taken a book out lately? It's time to pump up your brain. A growth mindset moment with Mrs. Bailey. Hello everybody. Today we are talking about positive affirmations. Now an affirmation is a statement that begins with I or my. For example, I am smart. I am strong, I am brave, I am loved, okay? So positive affirmations are so important for your mental health and for keeping a growth mindset throughout the school year, no matter what you face. You know, before a big test, maybe tell yourself, I am smart, I am capable of doing this work. Or like my good friend Peter Pan says, think happy thoughts. A positive affirmation will help you if you're feeling frustrated or stressed out or just down. It, research has proven that a positive affirmation will increase your self-esteem by a lot. So work on your positive affirmations and have a growth mindset. This brings an end to our broadcast this morning. Don't forget to show respect for our school, our classmates, family, and community. Remember. If at first, first you don't, don't succeed, succeed, try, try, try again. We, we are respectful. We are responsible. We are safe. We, we are, are Red Raiders Raider Strong. Red!